Welcome to 15 Minutes of Game. The first 15 minutes of any game are of vital importance, not only because they set the tone, but also because that is the refund window for Android apps. At the end of the 15 minutes, I have to decide whether I keep it or hit the refund button. So let's find out what happens when we give it its 15 minutes of game. Hey everybody, Maxion here, and let's take a look at another game. This game is called Cube Dice, and it is fantastic. I just have to start off by saying that. So really, you guys can just run out and go grab this one now. Well, okay, if you want to see a little bit more, I'll, uh, I'll take you on a quick tour. Cube Dice, after some obnoxiously long loading screens... Seriously, the first one took about 30 seconds, and then the next one took about 20 seconds as well. Point being is that it could use a little bit of work there, but once you get into the actual game itself, it is terrific. Now, I wouldn't say that the setting is surreal like a Salvador Dali painting, but the background looks kind of like somebody's shattered psyche, and the music is soothing and rather enjoyable. Now, as you play, some of the puzzles are going to be a little bit uh, reminiscent of Tetris, um, but not quite. Perhaps a bit more like blocks that matter, I would say. Now, it's a fun first-person view with you controlling your body movements on the left side of the screen and your view um, with the right. So that's how you'll manage the dual analogs on here. And then, of course, you can sort of extract the red cubes and place them near the pink ones using A to pick them up and B to stick them down. You'll interact with other blocks using the A and B buttons. But for the most part, solving these puzzles isn't too difficult. So in a lot of ways, you're kind of fighting mostly against the controls. Now, I'm not going to be too tough on this one for the controls, because I think if they implemented a contr Bluetooth controller scheme, that it would do a world of good to this game. The big thing here is that Cube Dice is 99 cents in the Google Play Store, and it is worth every single penny. The game has a very good, polished feel to it. The puzzles aren't too hard, but aren't too easy. It would be nice if you weren't fighting against the controls quite so much. But nonetheless, it doesn't get so difficult that that little bit of extra effort you have to put in to manage the controls frustrates you too much. The checkpoints are plentiful, so even if you do mess up, you don't have to be too frustrated. And the puzzles aren't all that hard to figure out. It's a very relaxing first-person puzzle game. So this is a game that I am absolutely keeping, and I encourage you to give it a look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like would be most appreciated. It's your feedback that lets me know how to best allocate my time in the things that you want to see. If you click on any of the links around here, you'll be taken to a playlist with more of that particular brand of madness. And be sure to subscribe so that you can always be the first to know when I have some new content out. Thanks again, and see you around.